Pikkunen kääsi ajan. Okay, I'm going towards cycling race, so road bike cycling race to the Hankmo. Uh, 60 kilometers and there's a two laps and it's like the league or series is recreational amateur cycling cycling race, so I don't don't have a High expectations there. It's bullshit. Pardon me, but that's bullshit. Bullshit. Because I haven't done <laughs> cycling so much, so as you may see from the videos, I have always said that I haven't done cycling so much. But yeah, yeah, the weather is awesome. Twenty, almost twenty degrees warm, so maybe too hot. But yeah, let's see how the race goes. So yeah, I put the GoPro in my bicycle, so you can see a little bit what is happening in, in the race. So yeah, let's start the race. Six minutes to start, so Tour de Hangmo, 60 kilometers road road race with bike. So it's two laps, 30 kilometers, and we are on the easy section. So let's see how it goes. When we step on the floor, every second that clock is ticking, we are pedal to the metal. Okay, so here's the start, and the race is on. So 60 kilometers road cycling race, two laps, and the course is pretty like flat, nothing big uphills, just rolling, rolling hills. But yeah, and weather was quite okay. A little bit, maybe a little bit too warm, but yeah, like nice summer day. And yeah, here, here we started, and yeah, you can see at the front there's the Uito brothers, so the, yeah, they drilled the pace <coughs> quite hard from the start, so I noticed like at the start that yeah, as you can see my heart rate is quite high. And yeah, for me the speed is because yeah, like I have done one little harder like training with the road bike, so yeah, the pace was pretty high at the beginning, so it like uh, above 40 kilometers per hour, and yeah, the like here in the first section the wind was coming like from the left, so. I started to little, go a little bit right fro from like uh, in the line so so like a little bit crosswind and he, as you can see here the group front of us started about one minute ahead of us 
but as you can see they are going pretty slow pace and we are catching them in the like first five minutes so yeah and then when we go past those those guys they like uh, jumped on the wheel so the group got pretty big there and uh, yeah like uh, like here you can see a little bit acceleration so I know this right away that yeah I'm not going to able like accelerate too many times because muscles like the muscle endurance uh, wasn't that quite high and I thought that this was like recreational series that the pace would be a little bit like easier but yeah the with the brothers they wanted to do hard race and hard training so yeah just drilling and here is the section where it's like a, I think a little bit uh, not crosswind but like the wind is coming a little bit from behind so the pace is going like very high speed here and as you can see the group is getting bigger there's a, like recreational cyclist and then there's like a age groups I don't know 35 to 65 or something like that and I think there was now is maybe 30 to, to 20 to 30 racers in the group so like here we just I don't know I don't know, can say that this is chilling pace but yeah we're going like nothing happening in the race like right now just like uh, the Witte brothers pretty the, they kept like pretty good pace all the time so yeah and I like I noticed all, all, almost all the time when there's a little bit hill uphill that I have to like push with the legs so I know this oh shit I'm not going to able to do this the whole 60 kilometers as you can see my bulls is quite high my expectation was pretty like a little bit that I can go this pace but yeah dream on like so here is the group is going and nothing like happening just we can rewind a little bit Notice this there's a ga little gap opening up there with the brothers is in the front so and that guy started to sprint and get the gap back and I, I started sprinting but I think this was quite quite big mistake from me because I think I wasn't like too heavy hitter in this group so I think it uh, will be easier for me that I go to the back. I was like always in the third or fourth wheel here. And uh, like you can get so that much draft here. So maybe it will be easier that I go the ba back to the group so I could get more draft. But yeah, like uh, my mental state is always like this is a race and I want to be in the like group because I thought that maybe I can always wishful thinking that I can can keep up this pace so it's easier be the, be in the front if there's a, like a gap opening so it's very hard from back when it's, if the like 
third wheel or fourth wheel, there's a gap opening, so you are in the back in the group, so you can have to go, you have to like sprint there, like I don't know how many meters, but yeah, it's it will be easier like here in be in the front, and you can like what's what's that group group like watching what is going to happen in the group so yeah but i think the it was mistake i should go to the back group Okay, now we are near the, like where we going to turn back, like the this course is ending here and we are like circling back towards. So yeah, he, there was like a pretty, let's say, small downhill to the like turning turning point, and then you're when you are turning. And then there's a uphill and your pace and power and momentum is going away and then you have to like put a very high watts to the uphill to keep like a yeah as you can see there was the sign that we are going to turn back there so it's very hard to like accelerate that yeah i know this like these guys are going past me and I was a little hesitating that I'm not no more go going to able to keep that pace and you have to produce very, very high watts instantaneously when you're going to uphill and the momentum and the speed goes down so yeah as you can see now we are coming in the turning point section so here it's a little downhill here and now this pace is going down and it's always very important that you go corners right that you get the momentum I cornered okay but yeah here is the uphill we are going up and here I started to notice that I'm my muscles is pretty tired and as you can see the other competitors is flying past me so and then I watched it back and there was no no competitors left and maybe if I can a little harder effort here I can manage to get the group and stay in the draft because I think like here the course is a little bit more downhill and little bit like a wind is coming back so but yeah I okay now we are here side of the road 20 25 kilometers the race lasted for me so and 60 k's were the race so yeah it went sideways you are welcome to explain the situation to them like when we started it was the recreational or amateur series where I because I haven't like done cycling so so less so I went there but the with the with the brothers came the same series and they drilled the pace like from the get-go pretty hard and I noticed that I'm I'm not going to able produce this kind of speed or watts so 
and like yeah maybe like the lungs and VO2 max I can use to it but like I noticed that the, because I haven't done cycling so the leg muscles wasn't there and yeah to drive the pace and yeah we got the first group like they they started at one minute ahead of us but they was they they were going pretty slow pace and we catch it those like in the first five minutes and then they hop on and the group got pretty big and yeah we we went here so like when we turn it like 180 there I I thought so because there was like uphill so that I'm not going to be able to keep that maybe if I like a little bit harder effort I can sustain that get the draft but yeah it was pretty me and then I draw the on the rock and my yeah my tire is broken and now I have a spare spare like wheels with me so yeah <sighs> Now I'm just waiting for the broom wagon and gets the ride to the like the, in the goal section. So yeah, it was pretty shit, shit. So I think I'm going to drive home and do maybe with the roll ski or ski erg hard effort there because yeah, I think I left a little bit in the barrel so to speak so yeah shit happens oh hey shit happens you know okay these two assholes for the reason because my race went the sideways <laughs> yeah the with the brothers they drill it pretty hard from the get-go so yeah yeah you see you was in third place yeah and Ville was in, I don't know, but you came from. So let's see what is stats for Ville. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 290 normalized power. 38.39 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I thought that the pace would be like 35 kilometers per hour, like, like last year, but yeah, this two guys drill it pretty hard so but yeah I can go home and do the second training because it was about 38 minutes for me so yeah until next time I'll be back <laughs>